Located on the eastern edge of town is Hermanoff Winery. Hermanoff's 10 magnificent stone cellars and charming brick superstructure are among the 100 Hermans buildings on the National Register of Historic Places. Built in 1848, Hermanoff was principally a brewery, but by 1904, the operation was producing fantastic wine from grapes grown at small vineyards in the area. In 1974, the winery was purchased by the Deerberg family, and today 15,000 cases of premium wine are produced in barrels made from white oak from the forest of France and Missouri. My career with Hermanhoff goes back nearly 29 years, starting in the vineyard where the wine is truly made, and ended up as the winemaker for the last 15 years. And these three wines are examples of what we produce well in our vineyard. The White Lady, which is a Germanic blend, semi-dry, typical of the flavors of Germany, typical of the flavors that people look for coming to Hermann. Going into the Vignol, which is a, a grape that does well in Missouri, does wonderful in Missouri, gets nice ripe fruit tones. On the semi-sweet side, the perfect after-dinner wine, dessert, fruit and cheese. And we round it out with our Chamberson, a rich, robust, dry red, which does well. To top off a perfect day of wine tasting and good food, stay over at the historic Hermanoff Inn, or you can choose one of the historic cottages located on the hill behind the winery. Each has its own history, each with its own unique charm. In addition to its award-winning Hermanoff wines, the Deerberg family also brings to Missouri a touch of California from family-owned vineyards in Santa Barbara County. Deerberg Estate Vineyards, Star Lane Vineyards, and Three Saints produce world-class wines and are available at the tasting room located next to the Hermanoff Winery. Here you can taste Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Merlot, and Cabernet.